You're partially right, Mark. And, 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 and I want to make sure that this conversation is very factual. It's not opinion based. Based. Mm -hmm. you, you keep bringing up that you were signed to a production company, which was essentially your label. Your label was signed to Bad Boy. If any monies went to your label, why is it that you have an issue with Puff at Bad Boy okay. and not your label? That's the part that, that I'm very confused about in this moment. Right. Because we, we could say it like this, then. In order for Puff to give money to Mac, he did it through an artist. So he used me as being an artist to give him some money to for a production deal. Now, what he did with the money, how much money he gave him, I don't have no clue, right? But sometimes people will do that just to give somebody some money. It's just, that's just the way it always goes. You know, they'll give you a production deal and never do nothing with your artist. I seen a okay. have a production deal and they never you know what I'm saying? Okay, so so, so know, I have to I, I, I gotta ask you a very simple question. Mm -hmm. Why are you not upset with your production company? Because even if everything that you're saying is a hundred percent accurate, the fault I'm I'm having I'm having a tough time understanding your logic that you would bypass the company yeah. that you signed to, that you signed to. Without a lawyer, mm -hmm. and and just go directly past them and say, "Look, pup, you're the devil." Nah, yeah, and, but and, and, go ahead. Production company wasn't the reason why I signed to the production company. The production company was the reason why I signed, so I could sign the puff. So I never looked at the production company like the production company can help me do anything. I looked at signing the puff and I said, this is the agreement we have. The agreement was I'm going to be an artist on this label. This is what we're going to do. And we're going to put out an album. That was the agreement. And that was between puff, not me and the, 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 the production company. All right. So the only thing I was, the only thing I'm doing the whole time is just making sure we all live up to our word. You know, a man, a man is nothing without, if his word is nothing. So, the word was never nothing. The word never. Whose word was never nothing? Buff word was never nothing to me. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Because again, yeah. Yeah. I got no dog in this fight, uh -huh. and I know it might sound like I'm defending him, but I'm really not. I'm, I'm literally, uh, trying to have an objective conversation. Mm -hmm. So, no matter what it was that you thought, or no matter what your intentions were. You did not sign directly to Bad Boy. And, and, you know, you could have had the best intentions, but you made a decision as an artist. You made a decision as an adult. You made a decision as a businessman to sign a, 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 a contract with a third party com company who then signed to Bad Boy. And no matter what it was that you believed in your heart or no matter what your intentions were, you were still bound by a contract that you signed as a grown man. As a grown man. Yes, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I tell you though, Sean Press, and, and some people try to be slick, you know, I call it pencil. You could be slick by a contract or whatever, but I, I, I don't honor I take about your word. I don't really care nothing about it. I have a contract that says that I could never talk about it when he did the publishing. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.